What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Brian Clavin here to discuss our senior men's national team. And today we're going to jump straight into it with an absolute lock starter. Okay, John Anthony Brooks, lock starter today for our senior men's national side, lock starter two and a half years from now in Qatar 2022. Because, yeah, we're going to Qatar 2022. I think I've been pretty uh, adamant about that. No matter what, we can make every wrong decision uh, when it comes to our senior men's team. We can get it all wrong. Tactics, we are going to Qatar, all right? Based on Sporting Barrett or based on some funny business off the field, but we are going. Uh, that being said, John Anthony Brooks, different class, uh, lock starter for the obvious reasons. Before we get into the, the footballing reasons, I want to go a little history lesson for all those that don't know him well on the factual side, okay? Brooks uh, is one of our unique cases for our, our senior men's national team who actually grew up in Europe. He didn't grow up stateside. He grew up in Germany. He played his youth football at Hertha Berlin. Uh, as a 19 year old, when they had just been relegated to two Bundesliga, he got promoted to the first team. He actually played hefty minutes that season. I think 29 appearances and promoted. They won the league title. They got promotion back to the, uh, the Bundesliga. From there on, he was a starter, you know, had some injuries here and there were Hertha Berlin. We all know the story, 20 million transfer fee euros to, to Wolfsburg. Uh, and then he's had ups and downs there at Wolfsburg as well. The good thing is there's been some European campaigns. They're currently fighting to get into the Europa League as well. So uh, uh, John Brooks history lesson there, all right guys? So it's pretty obvious, right? He's played in Europe his whole career. He's been I think he's already just this season recently got 150 caps in the Bundesliga, in the Bundesliga alone. So add that to those 29 games, 180 games at the top flight in Germany. How many of our central defenders can ever say that they played that many matches in the Bundesliga? Zero. Okay. And listen, it doesn't matter about pedigree. You have to study the player. You have to know his qualities. What I want to open up with is... John Brooks offensively, what he brings to the table offensively. Yeah, Brian, what do you mean offensively? He's a central defender. He's a defender. We should focus on defense first. Normally, yes, but we want to graduate to the next level. We want to compete with the world's elite. We want to take that next step. That's what we all say. So currently, if you want to boss games, if you want to be a possession-based team, you got to have a guy that can play the ball out of the back. Okay, That's been the fad. For good or for bad, ever since Pep Guardiola uh, made that run at Barcelona, his first season in charge, and they won all six titles. Then he took his football uh, and tactics to Bayern Munich, did the same at Munich in boss games. Then he took it to Man City. So uh, I think Giorgio Chiellini, the Italian Juventus defender, said that this guy, Guardiola, with his Guardiolismo, ruined the Italian generation of defenders. Now everybody wants to be able to spray the ball and connect passes. And them and their Catenacho, they're not the same type of defenders anymore. So I think that's been a global trend for the last decade or so. For good or for bad, uh, we need a dominant ball playing center back, and that is John Anthony Brooks, okay? He is not Gerard Piquet. He is not Amérique Laporte. He is not John Stones. He is not going to ever be those guys. He'll never play for Man City or Barca or whatever te team Pep Guardiola is managing in the near future unless it's the U.S. senior men's national team. But he is a correct player. He is technically sound. He makes the decisions, the correct decisions. He's not going to play those diagonal balls like I said uh, John Stones can do or a line-breaking pass like Amarig Laporte. He can't drive into midfield like Gerard Piquet or like Lucio used to back in the day, the Brazilian. All right? He's not going to juke four or five guys. But he makes the right play. He looks forward always when he wins the ball. When he's building, he wants to break lines. He doesn't always have to turn and go negative because he doesn't see it or he can't execute the pass like some of his uh, center back uh, peers here in our senior men's national team setup, which we'll get to in other episodes, <laughs> Aaron Long. But the reality is, guys, that John Brooks gr helps graduate us. He's a stable guy. He, cr he, he picks the right pass. Um, later on, I'm going to talk about the importance of having the right pieces around you, but this guy is a lock starter. There's no displacing him. Knock on wood, injuries respect him over the next couple of years, and especially come uh, winter of 2022. Flipping the script on the defensive side of the ball. He reads the game well, okay? He's very, very good in the air, obviously, with his frame, but he reads the game well. He steps into midfield to smash you and make challenges. If he's ever late, he'll take the tactical foul. He's very physical. Um, the only real knock I have on his game is when a play gets beyond John Brooks. Let's say he stepped into midfield, he didn't make a play. When he has to turn around and recover, it's a very casual recovery jog. It's not 
just his lanky steps that makes him look like he's casual. It's an approach, okay? And I don't like it. I'm not his coach. I'm not there to correct it. But it's something that's very annoying and it's something that's not going to help us uh, when we want to get to those uh, internet, top international games or if he's playing at a higher level in the Champions League, for example, all right? He has to clean that up. It also happens if he gets dragged into a wide channel and he's eliminated from the play. His recovery is like, ah, my teammates got it. I'll never get back in the play. I'm not going to make the play. So it's a very casual approach. And quite honestly, that has to change. It's a very small detail that with uh, a little bit of correction, a little bit of mentality, a little bit of approach, he can easily clean up. And that's something that he's going to have to do to help us in the big games. All right. Uh, apart from that, listen, physical presence. He's got a big frame, 6'4", monster in the air, reads the game, drops off well, good on set-piece defense, good on set-piece offense, good in terms of uh, maybe having a tactical approach where we force people wide to, to serve the ball because he'll clean house. Let's realize it. And CONCACAF, with these minnows, he's, he's dominant. He's going to clean house all over the place. Yes, Raul Jimenez will be an interesting matchup. You know, it's a 50-50 duel there per se, but anybody else in the region, there is no chance if Anthony Brooks is, or if, if John Brooks is at center back. All right? Uh, listen, uh, the pieces around you. This is something that's very, very important to know. So it's going to be very important. Who's his left back? Who is his center back pairing? Who's his goalkeeper? Who's his right back? His three central midfielders, even the forwards, okay? Because tactically, depending on how the team is set up, we're going to be a team that's going to boss it. We're going to be a team that's going to create chances and break lines and all those things that were sold to us. So John Brooks on the ball with time and space can pick passes, right? So for example, on the tactical side of things, if a nine checks to ball to overload the midfield, you know, like Ferreira did in January, like Jossie has been instructed to do over time, uh, or like Sargent did in some of his participations, and a center back follows him, the instruction for the winger is to make a run in behind. Brooks can pick that pass. If the outside a uh, weak side winger makes that run in behind then his man's supposedly going to follow him it's going to create that whole space in that channel he could clip in the ball to our outside back if they recognize the play and get to those spaces again technique showing up if you're an outside backer for your center back partnership not stitching you up in bad areas it's all very important right if we watch Wolfsburg and I think many of you guys have over the last few weeks they're not built to be a dominant team they have Schlager in midfield not a very technical player, just a workhorse. Their left back, uh, uh, Jerome Rosillon, not a technical player. His center back pairing is good. Uh, the right back, oh my goodness, Mbabu, terrible technically. So he's not playing with the right players around him at Wolfsburg to be a dominant team in terms of possession. If we're talking about the U.S. national team, listen, we're going to have to own the ball if we all want Serginio Dest on the field. Everybody critiques Serginio Dest that he can't defend, that he's a... He's a liability. He's got to improve a ton. Well, not if we're team bossing it. Not if we've graduated to the next level. Not if we surrounded Brooks and Des with nine other guys that understand the game, that have brains, that have techniques. So it's going to be very, very important, guys, that we have a goalkeeper. Everybody around him, from the nine to the goalkeeper, everybody's got to be on the same page. The tactics got to be uh, introduced the right way. Players have to understand it. And listen, the starting point, the rock, the guy is John Anthony Brooks, all right? I'm not discovering anything there. Everybody probably else in this country understands that. Everybody wants to point to injuries and hopefully he's healthy. Sure, okay, these things are a part of the game. We've had an injury crisis with some of our top players over the years, but it's a reality. Listen, John Brooks is going to be the guy for it. the next five, six, seven years. He's 27 years old now. He'll be 29, uh, going on 30 for Qatar. He'll be 33 years old when we host here. So he's going to be the guy, all right? There's nobody overtaking him. That's it. Player rating, okay? Forget the 10 out of 10 for the starters. Let's just give a player rating from 1 to 10, with 1 being a disaster and 10 being the best of the best. John Brooks is an 8 out of 10, with the potential to sustain it and be an 8 out of 10 come Qatar, which is the most important thing, all right? Clean up that casualness, and we got ourselves our centerpiece.